Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Wednesday the 27th of February. The local media headlines today. Most of Cornwall's media paid some attention to County Hall yesterday as council tax was increased, as expected, by nearly 4%. The BBC was among those to provide a near-running commentary as various amendments were debated and, for the most part, the ruling Liberal Democrat Independent Coalition got its way. One amendment where they came unstuck, though, was a Labour proposal to spend an extra million pounds on children's mental health. It's thought to be the first time Labour has won a budget vote at Cornwall Council. Another Cornwall Reports story updated readers on the five Cornish schools which have been without a sponsor in recent months. The Department for Education has now named the replacements, all of them existing multi-academy trusts based in Cornwall. And thanks to my colleague Richard Whitehouse for this one, how the council sent the bailiffs off to demand nearly £8,000, but to the wrong address. Pirate FM was momentarily spooked by the arrival of travellers in a Penzance car park. The Falmouth packet reported traffic delays after a car crash off the A39. The Cornish Times observed that warmer weather encourages people to go outdoors. Who'd have thought it? The Camelford and Delabold Post congratulated the local women's institute for cleaning the beach at Port Gavon. And finally, Cornwall Live has moved on from Poldark and now tells us even more about Doc Martin. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. And don't forget, you can now get Cornwall Reports on a pay-as-you-go basis without a subscription. Costs just 20 pence per article. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.